Hey everyone, it's Mike from Big Byte Media, and today we're gonna to be talking about the newer photography studio box. Is it newer or newer? It's spelled newer, but apparently it's pronounced newer. I don't know. I got nothing. The Amazon description for this bad Larry is a professional photo light box kit, 20 by 20 inch adjustable brightness studio photography lighting shooting tent with two LED light panels. It comes with three color backdrops and allows for multi-angle shooting. The list price of this particular item right now is $100. I was able to pick mine up for about $56 on an Amazon Lightning deal. I did it mainly because I wanted to start dabbling in product photography a little bit, um, at least start to learn. And at $56, I think it was an excellent price point. So a few things that I wanted to know, is this thing actually portable? Is it easy to set up? Is it sturdy? Are the backdrops decent? And well, I don't know, can you take decent photos with it? The reason I went with this one in particular is the brand Newer. Um, I actually have a decent amount of their products from some tripods to some camera ball mounts um, to even some backdrops. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in seeing those reviews later. And for the price and the quality, it, it, they're usually pretty good. So I felt pretty comfortable just jumping out there and, and making this purchase. So for this video, we're going to look at the setup. Then we're going to actually use the photo box and look at the breakdown. Then we're gonna look at some photos that I was able to get using it. So let's do it. So I have some cigars from the Good Cigar Company. Let's take some photos.
So we're gonna look at two photos that I was able to take using the newer photography studio box and uh, then kind of go over my thoughts on it. So first, I'm going to look at this image right here. Eh, in general, so this is this is less the studio box and more of a me thing. I, I definitely needed to adjust the settings uh, on my camera a little bit more um, to let in a little bit more light. Right now I have all the labels in focus but the center of the image is that Good Cigar Company matchbox, um, and it's a little bit blurry and out of focus, and it would be nice to actually have uh, the words on the boxes in the background and the book in the background to be sharp. Um, so if I could go back, this is definitely me and not the studio box. I would definitely adjust my aperture uh, so that all the words were in focus here. That also probably would brighten up the image too, which is, uh, you know, Another critique of mine. Moving on to the next image, uh, I think this is pretty good. Um, I don't know, it's more of a, again, the composition thing. I look at that cigar cutter and seeing it open uh, really does bother me a little bit. Um, but this one is is a little bit better as far as the focus. Uh, the review journal, the, the font is ish pretty sharp on here. I have some of the labels a little bit um, not so sharp. Again, on here, I probably would adjust my aperture settings um, and even change the composition a little bit. But overall, pretty solid. I'm actually shocked. I've never taken photos like this before. Uh, so this is my first time. So it's definitely a learning experience for me. All right, so now here are my thoughts on the newer Photography Studio Box. Even at $100, I think this is a pretty solid purchase if you're into photography or if you run an online store or anything and are constantly taking photos for your products. I was very impressed by the backdrops in particular. I know I didn't really get into too much detail. Uh, they're actually vinyl backdrops. So what I like about this is they really don't wrinkle too much. You will get uh, some waves here and there, but overall, even with basic skills in Adobe Lightroom or Photoshop, uh, it shouldn't be a problem at all. Naturally, the first time I set this up, it took me much longer than the second time. In general, it's pretty basic though. I, I absolutely love how they even give you some extra pieces in there. So if you are able to find it on a lightning sale or anything like that and get it for less than $100, absolutely, I think you should definitely do it. If you're looking at this, you're probably into photography already. And so this will just give you another creative outlet to get some of your ideas out. It is pretty lightweight and portable. I'll be honest, I'd feel comfortable taking this to a different location if I had to go to a client to take photos. So hopefully you found this review helpful. If so, give it a thumbs up. If not, uh... And don't give us a thumbs down. I'm being selfish here. But yeah, until next time. Thanks for watching, guys.